Hey, Royal Watchers. Welcome back. Welcome to those that are new. And hey, for everybody that's subscribed, thank you so, so, so much. It really means a lot to me. Thanks for hitting the like button. That really helps me. Um, I really appreciate the support. This, uh, you know, my comment section is a landmine. It's being bombarded. But so many of you guys have such good information. You're critical thinkers like over here we're just reading people fairly so today this is a request you guys have been asking about rose so i've been doing my homework this is what the notes i wrote lady rose sarah rose hanbury hanbury her birthday was just a couple days ago happy saint patrick's day everybody by the way her birthday was on 3 15 1984 she is i'm not gonna try the m word of Chumley. You like how I got that one right, huh? She was a former model along with the same agency as Catherine. So they've been friends for, or they were friends for quite a long time. Interestingly, her grandmother was one of Queen Elizabeth's bridesmaids and her son was one of the page boys in uh, King Charles's coronation, I believe. They have three kids. Okay, so she married this guy named David, coolest name ever. David Roxavage, Roxavage, Roxavage. He's a lord in waiting, which is a pretty big deal, but he doesn't like live at the palace. He lives super, they have a, actually, the guy's got more money than William. He lives close to him and his wife, Rose and David, live close to um, Catherine and William. This is the chick that all those um, affair rumors came out about. So we'll check it out. This is what I know. Okay, I'm going to blast through this really quick. David Rock Savage, Rock Savage. He's about 20 years older than Rose. They live in Houghton Hall, which is by Norfolk. They hang out with this group of friends called the Turnip Toffs, which is like some inner circle of aristocratic friends in the area. In 2017, they hosted a gala for Kate, one of uh, Catherine's patronages. In 2019, this is what I want to know about. Things started to take a change. There was a rift between Rose and Catherine. Affair rumors were denied by everybody pretty much, even to the point where reporters took it back. Like their tweets, they deleted, they denied them. Um, there's a thing called a du moi. They said that the rumors were Catherine had an arrangement that like Rose could hook up with William because he was into this thing called du moi, which I had to look up and let's just hope that it wasn't a square peg if you catch my drift. Um, here's the weird thing. No judgment here, right? But David was known as the ultimate bachelor. Nobody ever thought he was going to get married because he was like a tremendous partier. So was Rose. Um, he was a playboy bachelor. Also, though, there was like, um, you know, his friends were homo suspicious. No big deal. No judgment. But he had to produce an heir. So there's rumors that like maybe Rose had children with William and they swept it under the rug. I don't know. We'll ask. They had a shotgun wedding after three years of meeting. Uh, what else? Just a couple more things. More money than William. Open marriage theories. Eccentric partying past. Oh, David has a special French friend. Okay. We'll ask. Let's get into it here. I'm curious about the rift between her and Catherine. Really, to me, if there's truth to those rumors, that's like the only thing, in my opinion. But, you guys wanna know all about Rose? Let's get into Miss Rose Hanbury. And hey, also, thank you. Well, I really do appreciate the subscribers, subscribing, hitting the like button. I'll keep doing these readings. I, you know, I, I keep it very, as fair as possible. I've been, very suspicious of, uh, I can't even name their names because I get attacked. But you know what? The people who are doing the attacking of me in the comments, they're not going to subscribe to me. They don't even watch these readings. It's just they take any opportunity to delight in people's misery, uh, namely the royal family. And they bring up Harry and Meghan even when I'm not bringing them up. So they're just, they don't even watch. They're just people on the payroll. And so are a lot of creators, so be careful. Over here, guys, we do things fairly. We all get along. Even when people write crazy things in the comments, just ignore them. A lot of times, YouTube takes them off themselves. 
We're just friends hanging out, trying to get just gossiping about the royal family. Because, like I always tell you guys, I have nobody in my real life to talk to about this stuff. And it's interesting. Okay. Let's look into when Rose and David got married. Like, show us their relationship. Show us... I mean, was there an arrangement? We should see that. Love, an arrangement. Show us the, the um, what would we call that? The bond, the commitment, the promise, the vows between Rose and her husband, David. What's their marriage all about? We got the Emperor. Interesting. That's the dad card, though. Knight of Wands in reverse. The Moon. Secrets. Two of Wands reverse. The High Priestess. That's what we have at first. Hey, I want to show you before I forget. Check this out. So, monarchs have been all around me, guys. Today was the first time I ever caught up. They were, like, mating above my head when I was trying to garden and lay out. And then I found this little guy. Smallest monarch caterpillar ever. So I saved them. I figure it gives us something extra to watch. And I'll just keep feeding them to keep them alive. We are, this guy, I, December 28th, that must have meant something to the monarchy. Because this is when the monarchs first started coming. This one came to me. I, it was on the grass. It, it had a broken wing. I did a wing transplant. Check out my shorts when you get a chance. Short videos and the community posts. I've been keeping everyone posted. This is like when nobody watched me and I kept getting all these weird readings about the monarchy and a lot of it ended up coming true so far. Anyway, Rose and uh, David's marriage. So right away here, we're getting the emperor. This is, the king comes out as the emperor, but it's also a card about being a father. It's the dad card, being a leader. Now, under that card, we're getting the Knight of Cups. So it means he's coming with an offer of love and friendship here. So this could mean a lot of love. But check out this weird. The, here comes the weirdness. Knight of Wands in reverse is like in and out energy. It could be phallic. It could be, uh, it's like hookups. It's, you know, not a long standing uh, affair. It's a really quick in and out type of thing if you catch my drift. So it's either like sexual or sometimes it could even be violent. In this case, I'm thinking it's sexual. Under that, why, the, why would we get that sex, right, is it being such a burden? Or it could be hookups were a burden. There's something really stressful. There's like a heavy load being carried here that has to do with sex. So it's possible that those rumors that his friends were saying, there might be some truth to that. Now, the card about secrets, the moon here, it's about secrets, it's about things be, um, being kept secret, things being done at night that's kept secret, illusions, like they're, this would be the perfect card about, you know, the, their marriage being an illusion. Under that, look at this, the eight of swords. This is a, a binding situation, being put into a bind. This Really, the Eight of Swords is a mental imprisonment that you got yourself into over the secrets, stuff done at night. Strange. Now, here, there's like an ending of plans, a separation of two energies with the Two of Wands, and then we're getting the Knight of Pentacles. So very slow moving. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles wins in the end, so it's slow progress, but... Um, there's value in it for them. So like there is kind of a separation, like an agreement that there's a separation and both of them are getting something out of it here with this pentacle. So they did make an agreement, I believe, like a long-term agreement. Now the high priestess reverse is a, is a strange card to get here because this is actually a card about secrets coming out or not trusting your intuition. And we have the magician in reverse who's the master manipulator. So somebody's being manipulated, not trusting their gut about what's happening. Check out the next card, the Ten of Pentacles, the card about generational wealth, like an heir, you know, 
I mean, it's very possible that Rose could have been manipulated and he was keeping these tryst secrets and that was the burden. So honestly, by looking at these cards, I'm not seeing that when they got married that they had um, an agreement. I do, however, see that him being this playboy was like a total burden. There was, you know, he, she didn't trust her intuition he he did with the magician in reverse he did use trickery and manipulation and i you know what else is interesting because he needed to be a father so he came he needed to be a dad okay so he came with this offer of love affection friendship so i still see him as this eternal playboy he had to, you know, tie her down, also secure the bag of money. But yeah, these, you know, whatever was going on here with the sexual past, I mean, it was truly, truly a burden. And it's not that he got her pregnant. They had that shotgun wedding, but that's not the burden here because it wouldn't be a burden. That would be a win for him. So, I mean, it just, honestly, it looks like he was keeping it secret from Rose. Like, I don't think Rose knew. Or she wasn't part of the whatever agreement they had going on. Okay, let's ask. 2019. Her and Catherine seemed awfully close. So, in 2019, all of a sudden, there was a fight. Or, you know, a rift, whatever. Let's ask, what happened between Princess Catherine and... Rose, what happened in 2019 between Princess Catherine and Rose? That made them stop being friends, that put a wedge between their friendship. What happened between Catherine and Rose? What happened... Knight of Swords, something fast. It, it didn't happen over time. Something happened really fast. Eight of Pentacles. That's this doing the same thing over and over and over. I'll keep going. Okay, King of Cups. We got an emotional male figure on our hands. Some travel. Strength in reverse. Okay. Now this quick action that I was talking about that I said happened fast had to do with the ace of cups so this is a relationship this is like your cup runneth over with feelings love friendship so something happened really fast about you know the beginnings of a relationship here this would also be the card that you would get um like you know with an, a new relationship a new child so very quickly news came in about this new relationship 2019, or we're asking what happened between Rose and Catherine's friendship. Then we've got the Queen of Swords in reverse. So we've got an Ice Queen here. We've got a very cold female energy. Um, and she's in the reverse. So it's She's being dishonest. She's not using her good judgment. She's angry and she's ruthless. And she's putting in a lot of work here with this Eight of Pentacles. This is the work card. So this cold, ice cold female in a very angry position. She's putting in a lot of work. I mean, she's and this could also be doing the same thing over and over and over again. So it could be that this person is, she's lying about doing the same thing over and over and over again. We'll see what made them stop being friends. Lying about, okay, right in the middle. A male who's got his heart on his sleeve. Under that, the three of pentacles in reverse. So this is a group of three or more people working together on a plan. They've got a plan. They've got the blueprint. They've got a plan. They're working on something together, but it came out in the reverse. So it's making me feel like there's a male here that didn't go along with an agreement. Maybe there is some truth there to that uh do moi which in french isn't that like me too i don't know 
But anyways, I, I'm, I'm, it seems like a man started catching feelings which broke their agreement here. Which is exactly what that article said, I think. Like, I, I couldn't believe there's any truth to that. But so far, the that's what the cards are showing. Now we got the Six of Swords. This is about, it could be about travel. But it's like moving from a chaotic situation to calmer ground. So it's like the end of their friendship there. Because with the Ten of Swords, an ultimate betrayal. Ten Swords in the back. Like, I mean, this is, a, this is a total ending. It's a 10. It's a total ending of their friendship. We asked what happened. One of them left. One of them felt utterly betrayed by the other. Somebody gave in to their weaknesses here with the strength in reverse and made a decision against their better judgment. And with the, with the two swords crossed like that, it's like, she, like, Catherine made the decision, like, no, stay, stay away from me. That sure is what it's looking like. I mean, right there, a male that caught his, I mean, I would say, yeah. So let's ask about the affair or, you know, if there's any truth to the rumors. Well, I'm learning a whole lot. And you know, what's strange is I do watch, or I have watched a lot of those, um, like there's one that I've been watching lately just to pass the time to lighten things up called uh, The Great. And it's about Catherine the Great. It's all just kind of, you know, done and fun. It's not a new show or anything. I've been watching it on MB. It's not a new show or anything, but, you know, all, it seems like all the people in the, I guess, court or the royal circles in this Catherine, it's called The Great, but it's about Catherine the Great. And it's actually pretty funny. It, you know, it keeps your attention. It's lighthearted. It. I recommend it, you know, for the lighthearted things. If you want to just not be stressed out, it's good to get your mind off stuff. But the thing that, I re that I've been realizing is, like, uh, her husband, who would have been the emperor at the time, his he was having sex with his best friend's wife. And, I mean, you know, it's like, and it was just okay. So, I don't know. Who knows what these aristocrats are doing? But when I was reading about Rose and, oh, all legend guys, card reading, everything I say here, we know. It's just, we're just friends talking, having a good time. Which then, you know, I love hearing what you guys have to say in the comments because you guys have taught me a lot. Oh my gosh, that last reading I did about uh, Thomas Kingston, so many people mentioned $80 million being missing. I so wish I would have known that. I read so much, so many articles about him. But okay, so it looks like a male caught feelings. That's why Catherine stopped having, stopped being friends with Rose. So what, show us. Around 2019, show us the energy between Prince William and Rose Hanbury. 2019, what was, did they have an affair? Well, let's just get down to it. Did they have an affair, Rose and William? Whoa, that one's out, huh? The hanged man in reverse. There's that King of Cups again, that emotional man that was in the middle last time, catching feelings. Now he's in the reverse, which means he is overly emotional. Could also mean that uh, he's kind of codependent on somebody. Uh, could also mean he's drinking. Okay, Five of Swords. Ugh. Four of Cups, reverse, and the Ace of Wands. You guys, look at this next, the card that was coming up under is our sex card. The one that we just got done talking about. Let me put, um, I'm sorry, I really apologize, but I hear my dog barking. Is, is the other dog in your bed? No. Nope. Come on, Gigi, take a break. Ouch. Come on, Gigi, take a break. Good girl. Just take a little break, I'm almost. Let your mother talk to her friends. Where's your sister?
my shoes and I can't find my top. crisis averted. I really apologize for that. I apologize. Fast forward through this, that one. I didn't mean to waste your time, but I didn't want to waste these cards either. Okay. That's probably why Gigi was crying at the door to let me know her sister's out there. All right. Now we're asking about the affair. We're getting the hanged man in reverse. Now upright. This would be somebody looking at something from every angle. Instead, it's tunnel vision. Tunnel vision about that inappropriate in and out action right and like i said before wands are a phallic symbol yes this is prince harry's cards but the same for prince harry this is an action done by this man this man and look at the card this overly emotional man that showed up before as the reason why catherine and rose's friendship ended and then right away we're getting this woo the star under him. So this is a card about like having hopes, having renewal. It's like almost like the feeling I'm getting because he is out of sorts here. His, you know, it's like his feelings have taken over and that, that was the problem. Like he had tunnel vision when it came to Rose, it looks like for a while there, like she was the star of the show. What the heck is really going on with these people? Like, I have always thought, you know, over here in the U.S., the only thing that we see of, except, you know, recently, but that's because there's an ultimate uh, PR war going against, or I guess, in Meghan and Harry's favor. But, I mean, you know, we've only seen, and they really look like they genuinely love each other. We've asked before uh, in Catherine's readings, like, what was it about this time that broke the camel's back? And it was an interesting answer. So it looks here like there is, we asked about William and Catherine having an affair. I'm going to call it like I see it. Now, right in the middle, the five of swords reversed. This is a conflict that keeps on coming up. It's something that happens more than once. It's always coming up. It's starting to be a problem. Also, it's a card about like flexing your muscle a little bit, you know, like, gosh, well, you know, I'm starting to wonder if Prince William is anything like I thought he was. Who knows about anyone really in the public eye? Under this, you know, this conflict that keeps coming up all the time, we have some more swords, the four swords in reverse. So this would be like taking a well-deserved rest, taking a break. Well, there is no rest here. It was like this this thing that kept coming up is uh, basically there was no sleeping going on. You know, it, it was action. Maybe even uh, like some, I hate to say it. I'm going to say it. You know, people like different stuff in the bedroom. Okay. So like maybe a little bit of pushing around kind of thing, liking it a little rough. Now with this four of, if this card would have came up upright, never mind all these other cards this would have been like him looking at rose like eh, or rose looking at william like eh. this is taking it you could take it or you could leave it you don't really care for cups you're indifferent but it came out in the reverse so it is like something that can't be ignored and with the world in reverse he didn't want it to end but it's like a, it's a forced ending and it means that things ended in a bad way okay because he couldn't stop. It was like it was like an addiction. When the King of Cups comes out in reverse like that, it's like he's addicted to this female. And then we have the Ace of Wands, which is, like I said, wands are phallic. Check it out. This is also an action card. The Ace of Wands is like the opportunity for action. And then we have the Six of Pentacles, which is like distribution. Somehow, some way, there was a plan here to, I don't want to say pay her off, but in a different way, you know, like whether it's something, she got something of value, basically. She got something of value out of it. Let's see how Rose 
felt about what well first let's ask if it's still going on let's just see how they feel about each other now well actually since we got that let's ask about rose's child i thought that she had twins like right out of the gate which would make me think more like ivf you know would probably be the would probably be a good chance so let's just see you know, some people would call this an inappropriate question, but guys, you know, I'm an American. I would be asking if this was going on, like if I was alive during the Kennedy stuff, I'd be asking about our president too. So relax. It's a card. We're just, it's just lighthearted. It's meant to be lighthearted. It's been lighthearted for the, until I started getting all these crazy readings about I don't even know. Look at my, I have a royal playlist. Go back. I mean, it's so interesting the things that I was getting around Christmas, before Christmas. Okay. Has Rose had a child born? Is any of the of Rose's three children? Is William the father of any of Rose's three children? Is he the biological father? of any of Rose's three children. Okay, two of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Wands reversed, two of Swords, the Moon card, and the Queen of Cups reversed. With these cards, I'd say no. So there's this feeling of being overwhelmed here. Also, she had twins, right? So that's two. But there's a card about it, something being over uh, overwhelmed by the amount of something. Let's see. Let's keep going. And then wands down here. So that is telling. That's giving me a no too. That everything was fair and balanced. That it was what it appeared to be. Right in the middle, I'm getting another no with the two of swords and the lovers in reverse. So I'm going to go with no. That, okay, it, it was an illusion. You know, we were tricked into thinking that way because with the high priestess, there were no secrets. But she did take an interesting route here. She took an interesting, a different kind of path to have the children, but actually I'm getting no, which could also explain this too. So, the cards are saying that none of her children belong to Prince William. Let's ask about if they're still, if they're still, uh, how does Rose feel about Prince William now? How does Rose feel about Prince William right now? Guys, I mean, really, I, I, I'm, I'm going to say it again, like a broken record. I can't thank you all enough. I mean, I was literally like crying because I couldn't believe how much just you guys are the best. And thank you. You know, this is like my escape from real life. And it's been hard lately with all the crazy comments, you know, from bots and people that, like I said, they don't watch anyway. But man, I'm so happy that so many, because of them, a lot of, the good news is, because of them, that's how a lot of you all found, found me. They don't realize that they're helping, helping me more. See? By them sharing and commenting, and this is, a, this is communication, texts, sharing stuff, emails. By them doing this, taking action, they're helping me, which is how I got to find so many of you, the good people. So I'm grateful for that. Just ignore them. Okay, how does Rose feel about William? This could be a tricky one because who knows? There's a lot of stuff going on now. How does Rose feel, feel about William now? Okay, well with the fool in reverse, she feels like he's going down the wrong road here. He's taking a wrong path, making a foolish decision Okay, six of swords, reverse, the star reverse. That's weird because that's how he was feeling about her. Queen of Pentacles. 
Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords upright. What's at the bottom? King of Pentacles reversed. This is like, she is looking at, look at this. Wow. Okay, so according to the cards here, Rose is looking like William's taking a wrong path. He's making bad decisions. He is not taking the right steps to get himself out of this choppy waters, this chaos. He's staying in chaos with the King of Pentacles in reverse. It's also like, like he can't be relied upon. He can't be depended upon here. He's in a negative state. He's in a, stuck in this chaos. Also, check this out. With the star reversed, she's not, uh, it's almost like he's not a focus in her life. Also, uh, the star is about hope and renewal, and she doesn't have very high hopes for him. So she, it's like she's seeing him trying to get himself out of a bind here. Remember, eight, this is like being stuck. You're stuck in a bind. And he's trying, she doesn't see any hopes for him to get out of the situation that he's in right now. Wow, she knows. Looks like Rose knows the gossip. And then here is this female energy of like a, somebody who cares very much about their children. The Queen of Pentacles is like a very uh, down to earth female energy, motherly energy. I'm getting like Catherine vibes here with the four of wands reverse this female here this motherly dependable female and look it's the the couple the king and queen of pentacles so he's in the reverse she's in the upright but unfortunately her home here is in disarray it's got a cracked foundation and it looks like rose knows it and she's mad at she doesn't she doesn't like that part about william what are the burdens our other woman card that and the fact that Catherine's angry with the wand down. Lots of burdens and stress because William's got other another female he's talking to, allegedly. And Kath, people know the truth about it. With the Queen of Swords, swords up, she tells it like it is. She's not worried about people's feelings. She's gonna she's got her back towards this whole situation, telling the truth. And what she's saying is painting somebody in a corner it's like somebody has got their back against the wall and is being forced into making a decision here oy, oy, oy. thanks rose hooking us up with the info okay seems like rose knows a lot and if you think about it she's probably getting the juice right from her husband who's obviously super tight with king charles all right, so let's take advantage of this one. Um, what is Rose? I don't want to know like what Rose thinks of Kat, like her opinion of Catherine. What what does Rose think is going on with Catherine right now? What does she think? I mean, the whole world's asking what's going on with Catherine. What does Rose think is going on with Catherine right now? Please show us as clearly as possible what Rose, Lady Rose Hanbury thinks. The situation. What does she think Catherine's situation is right now? Ups and downs. We got this the last time we checked on Catherine, Princess Catherine. Lots of ups and downs. We we'll see these waves ups and downs she's she's having a balancing act stopping of communication we just got done talking about this eight of wands being like text media posts phone calls action it's in reverse so Catherine's having ups and downs there's no communication the lovers in reverse you guys i mean the cards are so clear so a division of the lovers the the couple the magician now, this is a good one because the, if she's meaning Catherine here, this is somebody who's able to manifest anything that they want. They can make anything they want to happen. And that's what I've been saying about Catherine. I hope Catherine realizes the amount of power that she holds. And the chariot, forward motion and the chariot. So the, chari the chariot's about steady progress, forward motion, 
It could be about travel and it's about making a very, very big decision and having control. So great cards so far. I mean, not great cards about the separation, but good news with Catherine. So there's ups and downs, Williams being cold, okay? Also, there could be a lawyer involved here with the King of Swords. Rose knows it all. Okay, the stopping of communication. There's a slowdown of communication. Catherine's on the outs. She was on the outs, poor health, but guess what? The Five of Pentacles, this card of being on an outsider and having poor health, it's in the reverse, which means she is making progress here. She's not, not really quick progress. She's making slow progress, and she's staying out of the limelight. She's staying out of our sights. Now, here comes this separation, and this Knight of Swords in reverse. There's a lot of really, in Ro so in Rose's opinion, according to the cards, this is the assassin card, the Knight of Swords. Remember, somebody coming in really fast. Um, they're, they're saying something. They're taking quick action. Now, this is quick action, but it's in the negative, and it's coming up with our lovers in reverse. Wow. So somebody like saying something very wrong or a quick decision to separate. Okay. The magician. Oh, my gosh, the hermit in reverse. So she's being tricky. Catherine, here comes a dog. Okay, she's being tricky. Kath, or Rose thinks that Catherine's being tricky, that making it seem like she's living in the home, but with the hermit in reverse, it doesn't look like Catherine's staying in her marital home. Then we have the chariot and the queen of cups underneath it. So it is this, this female energy here, which I believe is Catherine. Now, I don't do my cards. I know a lot of people, you know, usually Catherine is the queen of wands, but I don't do it like my cards come up situationally. So in this situation, we're asking about what Rose thinks about the state of like what, what Catherine's doing. Well, she's making a decision to leave William. It looks like Catherine or Rose thinks that Catherine is being making it appear that she's living in the marital home, but she's not. But look here, she's got plans. She's she's about to make a decision here because she's overly emotional. She's she, she's worn out with the Queen of Cups reversed. This is, you know, it could also allude to like, a, it's just being overly emotional, but, it, but still progress. We've got cards about progress, progress, progress. It's a good thing. It just stinks that there's this, separation but you know what sometimes it's for the better all right let's ask about um what rose thinks about william rose is giving us some info here what does rose think william's biggest problem is right now or no actually what does rose think uh what's william's situation right now according to rose what is william's situation according whoa what's this one according to rose he's going against the firm he's going against his morals his ethics the hierophant's the pope card it's the church card it's the firm card and it can't it fell out there in reverse so she thinks he's he's making bad decisions okay Show us clearly. Show us William's current situation in Rose's opinion. William. All right, well, there's the Eight of Cups. So he's working on something. He's got plans. He's about to make his next move or he's waiting for something here with the Three of Wands. So he's working on his next move. He's kind of getting over this nightmare. So he's got a plan. He's working on something to get himself out of this nightmare. Also to become more dependable, more reliable, to appear that way. 
and the broken home is coming out again. All right. So what's he working on? There's that sex card again. I really, it seems like William's got, I'm going to do a whole spread on William, but I'm, I'm starting to wonder if he's got feelings or something like that for someone else. And after that reading about, uh, Thomas Kingston, I'm wondering if we figured out who it was. So he's got plans here to make a next move. He's waiting on something and it's based off of his emotions. He's not being illogical. So his next step, his next plan, and we asked him in Rose's mind, it's like he's feeling the same way he did about Rose, but with somebody else, just to the extreme. What's wrong with you, William? He doesn't want to move forward with the Page of Wands in reverse. There's an end. Okay, we just said that he was reliable, but look at, we got death in reverse. It's the end of him appearing like, like he's, you know, steady as a rock, rock steady, rock solid. He's got him. He's got his shit together. That th th this um, perception of William is over. Death card reversed. It's over. There's no way of him in Rose's opinion. There's no way of this getting any better. And then there's him also outside the home, not being a home guy. And the home's coming out in the reverse again. Let's just ask, because it seems like Rose knows. Rose knows. Rose knows. So, according to Rose, what is the reason for the problems in Catherine and William's marriage according to Rose like I said she really is her cards are shocking me because she seems to know a whole lot so according to Rose what does she think the main issue what's the problem here with Catherine and William's marriage the problem between Catherine and William's marriage according to Rose overwhelmed someone's tired of doing the same the same thing over and over like constantly putting on this facade putting entertaining they're tired of it they're overwhelmed they're tired of entertaining the masses Page of Cups, judgment in reverse. The decision's already been made. It looks like fighting. Ay, ay, ay. Taking a break. So it could just be a separation. But look. Okay, so I just said someone's like tired of entertaining. It's becoming overwhelming. It's getting old, right? And then because of that, there's someone backed into a decision with the debt to... This is a separation. Somebody's backed into a decision. They don't want to do it anymore. They're saying, no, I'm done. This is getting to be too much. And then we have the Page of Cups, which is a messenger. It's things not being what they seem with the betrayal. So it's them trying to hide what's really going on. They're tricking the public and not showing us what's really going on. What's really going on here is... There's three people involved in this heartbreak and betrayal. There's the judgment in reverse, which is the ultimate. I mean, this is coming down from the heavens, looking at everything and making an assessment of this big decision. It comes out in reverse. So you're the someone's being the judge, jury, and executioner. Remember when I told you guys when I asked what was different, like if if and my cards before showed that, you know, Prince William stepping out on Princess Catherine is not really a huge, it's not a deal breaker to Princess Catherine. So I asked what made this time different. This is the card that I got, but in the upright. This is the one that I got, the sun. So like read between the lines, make up your own mind. This card does mean new beginnings, happiness, 
being in the spotlight, okay? So somebody's played judge, jury, and executioner, but it's it's like keeping something under wraps. Somebody made an ultimate decision to keep something buried, to keep something, to keep us in the dark about something very big. Two major arcana cards. Also, this is a card about big time depression. Dark, dark days. You know, there's the sun isn't shining. Wow three people involved and this could even be a child this page so there's a lot of fighting going on because once again there's our male energy full of emotion so there's a lot of fighting going on because this guy who i believe is prince william is just you know he is it, what's causing the fight is that he's got feelings okay He's got feelings. He went too far. And then there's this feeling of, you know, needing to take a break, needing to take a rest. This could be a separation, trying to ignore what's happening. It's like putting your head in the sand um, try, while they're trying to figure this out. So look at the bookends here, okay? What does Rose think is going on with William and Catherine's marriage? Taking a break, taking a time out, not being in the spotlight, being indifferent. And then that was book ended by, so look at, being overwhelmed, always being, having to perform, you know, you feel like you want to quit, all them ups and, ups and downs, you want to take a rest from it with the sword, it's time to take a break, okay, like a separation, take a break, that's where I'm, where I'm, what I'm feeling, so this trying to feel indifferent, trying to ignore what's really going on is what they feel like they have to do. They have no other, I think it, it's what Catherine feels like she has to do. Like if she focuses on it too much, she goes too far into those dark thoughts. Like I, like this is just her kind of staring off into space, not realizing that the universe has a huge offer for her. God, I wish Catherine knew. I wish, I, I hope she does know the power that she has and how much people love her. And it's starting to look that way. So guys, thank you for, for telling me to read on Rose because Rose knows the juice. That's for sure. She knows the scoop. So I really appreciate it. And you guys, thank you so much for subscribing to me and hitting the like button. You're the best. I love you so much. Thank you. And can't wait to see what you all think in the comments. Bye.